channel in today's video we're going to be learning how to make a tailor's ham so we know we use tailor's ham to do a lot of things like ironing our princess dad bustier so let's get started so for the width of our fabric we're going to be using 10 inches and the length will be 20 inches this is actually a lining so you can use any fabric of your choice but I'm actually making use of a lining. So we're going to take our measurement 10 inches width, 20 inches length to make this tailor's arm. So I just have to confirm that the measurements are accurate and we'll cut it out. So after cutting it out, we're going to fold it into two, then take it to our sewing machine, then you sew just two sides, the bottom and the side. Do not sew the upper part because we're going to be stuffing some things inside. So I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and sew, then bring it back to iron. So after sewing yours, you see that it looks like a bag because there's an open space at the top. So this open space, we're going to be filling it with leftover fabric. That's why it's not good to throw away all your leftover fabric because it can be useful like Using it for this tailor's arm to make your tailor's arm. So we're going to be filling the bag with the leftover fabric. And please ensure to fill the fill eighty percent of the bag. Like I later went ahead to add more leftover fabric to the bag. So please fill your bag and leave a little space at the up at the top. So here we're going to be using an hair stay to gum this tailor's ham to be more stronger you can use a needle and thread but we're going to be using an hair stay i could not find any black hair stay so i used a white so you can use any color of your choice so you can see what i am doing you're going to continue to gum your hair stay and make sure you're forming a round shape like a ball while doing it so you you'll, you'll be needing a little bit of force to do this so you can achieve the the shape that you want and for this hair stay maybe if you do not know, if you do not know what an hair stay looks like you can go to any tailoring shop and ask them for hair stay the front surface of the hair stay is kind of scratchy let me use that word it's kind of rough so that's where the gum is and you'll be using a very hot iron so it will gum to the fabric so continue to cut your strips of hair stay actually the strips doesn't have any measurement you can just cut as many as you can because we're going to be using it to bind the tailor's ham together so we'll continue to be doing this adding our hair stay giving it a round shape because that's what we want we want a round shape so continue to be doing this and be making use of our hot iron. So please make sure your iron is very hot so that the hair stay doesn't fall off. So continue doing this, continue doing it till we get our desired result. So what I'm trying to do here is to bind the tailor's ham. I want it to be very, very strong. So it will be durable. So you're going to take your thread. 
make it into two, then use it to wrap the tailor's ham as tight as possible. You can use more thread than I did. I was actually making use of what I had on ground. So you, you can use more thread as you have to bind it as tight as possible. Then after binding, we'll still continue to use our hair stay to cover up the ham. The essence of doing this is just to make it durable. We can't be making our tailor's arm every day, so we just have to make one that is durable and useful. So we'll continue to give it our round shape. Continue to gum on it with our hair stay, making sure it's very neat and strong. So please, when making yours, make sure you make that form of circle like a ball. Make it round, depending on what you want to do. But if you want something round, you have to use your force to make it very round so that... It can be very useful. So here, this is our ball shape. We've achieved this with much work. Now what I want to do is to make the ham a little bit, you know, neat. So I'm going to be cutting a big hair stay. And I'll gum on it. Actually, there's no measurement. You can just cut a big one that can go round and go round. That you can use to wrap the hair, the tailor's ham, sorry. That you can use to wrap it. So, just cut something big and gum it on the hair stay so it will be neat and nice. So, we're going to be doing this for a while. Gumming it on our hair, on our tailor's ham, sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me today. So we're going to be doing this. Continue gumming and gumming and gumming. If you do not want to do this, you can try to make yours as neat as possible. So this is basically how to make a tailor's ham is not difficult there are different shape and sizes of what you want so whatever you want you can do it this way also with your hair stay hair stay does 100 percent of the work actually just hair stay and iron there's no much of sewing so you can see our uh, ham is taking shape and this is it so we can use this to iron our princess that bustier our armpit and whatever you want to use it for so this is the video please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe please subscribe to the channel is absolutely free and it makes it grow this will be all for now see you in my next video bye